Okay. That was a lot of talking. Now, to officially get into uh, Rogue Trader after I answer a text. It's game time. So I do apologize for that. So... It's going to be less time to play War uh, Rogue Trader, but I think we'll be okay. We're I think, though, I am going to go ahead and pour me a glass of some mead. Nice. Tasty me. He's in that, but you know what? Whatever. Okay, we are, I do, okay, like, I'm, got a lot of stuff on my mind. I do now, D, I do now need to do some purchasing, and I need to figure out what I'm going to be purchasing. Oh, right, we got to level up. <gasps> yeah. Start with Earlet because I have her up now. This is her last thing. This is, uh, what is this, 35? Nice. Pascal! All right, Argenta. Come on, girl.
Okay. That's a really good ability. Uh, all allies in a three cell raise around the valley. Could be good. All right, so uh, the master tactician and one uh, uh, make two attacks instead of one during orchestrated firestorm and last volley. Okay. Uh, all allies, including the master that have a weapon capable of burst fire, use. Burst fire instead of a single attack against enemies as part of the orc. Oh, God. We're going to go with that because that gets going to help Argenta out a lot. Oh yeah, now there's one more thing I do need to... Look up real quick. about you all right and so now i just need one more companion to complete the whole set uh cassia would be great but i don't think we're gonna get her just yet oh where are we? Wait, 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 wait. we got a lot of stuff to grab now open always keep your eye on the prize operation successful operation successful you can stop you can stop popping up now Um, well, that's the portal to the arena. Oh, wow. That was a great click. This exploratory is blessed with multifunctionality. Is with that guy. Who's that guy? Damn. Don't like that. That was a fail. Darn. A 
trivial task. Nice. How much XP did I get out of that? Well, hey, every bit of XP, every bit of XP Rise to the top or get left in the dust. to be made. Uh, me, uh, meet the master ordered that ordered that you be let through. I wish to pass. The master gave his permission. I always have a backup plan. Isn't I supposed to meet Jay here? I wonder if it's just companions that uh came with me. Oh, okay. Well, a quick save here and uh, see how things go. I think yeah, I think it's just companions who came with me. There is something I need to do. I always keep my options open. I need to pop down here. Take care of some things. And then say hi to the commissar if he's down there. Always keep your eye on the price. Which he is not. The machine god grants the insight. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Well, anyways, um, 
Okay, we got some new stuff. Uh, one of the wearer performs an area attack. They instantly provoke attacks opportunity from all adjacent enemies. Uh, the wearer gains plus uh, toughness bonus temporary wounds for each attack of opportunity provoked by an area of attack. Oh. Uh. Wait, you you focus on versatility, don't you? Or is that you? Oh, that's Argenta. Uh this battle gains a stack of versatility, they also gain plus three momentum. Yoink. Uh, if every combat of the weirs allies gain deflection equal to the weirs psi rating. Okay, we don't worry about that. The weirs melee attacks, uh, attack damage is increased by oh per psi rating. Okay, that we don't uh, dead eyes. Oh, who does hot on the trail? I purchased the sword, they immediately counterattack, causing the attacking enemy to become staggered. The attacker is staggered, the wearer's harry is increased by. Hmm. You know what? I. Uh, five times agility bonus. Ooh. I hope we can take that off of. I hope we can take this. Of the. Um, stolen time off of him. Or else he's going to end up becoming very useless to me. Okay, I guess he'll be fine. Now, if I recall... Lesson learned. Oh, hi! Oh, it's one of you! Let us not dawdle. Suffer not the heretic to live! Here we go. And music's gone. Victory is imminent. Where's my music at? Beyond the sign knows all, comprehends all. Okay, uh, the
Um. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. There we go. So now everybody's set that. We better go ahead and analyze target. Bada boom. We'll then go ahead and machine spirit everyone. Everyone else but Pascal because Pascal's not our big hitter. Um, and then I will go ahead and joint analysis. My vow is to serve. Okay, so we'll go ahead and... Okay, my music's gone and I don't like that, but whatever. All right, so how many, um, how many, how many, how many exploits? You have 16 stacks. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, so we expose. And then we got two on him. Um, uh, the assassin's attacks and attacks and grants plus 40% dodge to the target for this attack. If this attack hits, it deals an additional plus 17 damage. If the attack hits an opening, its additional damage is increased by 125%. Uh, specific assassin parameter. This is equal to dodge or dodge reduction. Whichever is higher. I understand your intent. <sighs> if I must. All right, all right, all right. Um, we'll then now go ahead and do this. And boop. I'll deal death with my hands. Okay. Okay, I just one shot a 400 HP unit. Uh, the biome uh, biomechanical creatures, uh, um, creature is flailing its limbs faintly. Its body is broken and bears the signs of combat, but it seems no one is planning to repair it. You can see the glistening flesh under the cr uh, cracked carapace and the bunches of wires that uh, that permeated. The armor plates rise heavily, and the creature emits a wistful, creaking sigh full of regret. The claw of Pascal's mechanic uh, clangs loudly. The visor emits a series of clicks, switching the observation spectrum. Pascal's hands automatically reach the commi tool on his belt, even as his eyes closely watch the dying creature. Fem the creature. Every limb of the creature, the hard ones and skeletal uh, paws, and the flexible ones and on, on flexible ones on metallic um, on metallic cords. It's equipped with a variety of implements similar to surgical tools. The jagged circular saws, twisted drills, and vibrating monocles promise unbearable pain. You can clearly see the inside of the mechanism through the holes in its armor. Its gut uh, can open to drag a hamstrung victim inside. Once the victim finds itself in the monster's stomach, they will be pierced by injectors that will liquefy them. Ah.
Can you understand me? The creature emits a series of wheezing sounds. Was it an answer, moans of agony, or just the normal rumbling of its me uh, mechanism? There's no way to tell. It, it is trying to communicate. What are you? The creature responds with a series of choking and snarling sounds. After a moment, as if realizing that its language is not clear to you, it extends a fighting, uh, fighting limb in your direction in a menacing gesture. The message is clear. I am a warrior. I am a killer. This is an engine of pain, Ellen Talk. An executioner created by the uh, depravity of my twisted cousins. Living flesh fused to a, mechanic, a mechanism whose sole purpose is to inflict as much pain as it can. The Dark Ones are, are caught in a cycle of torment, desperately seeking pleasure in the suffering of others. This machine is but an instrument of their endless desires. Symbol of what they are willing to do to slake the thirst and, and fear the cons that consume them. I will not hurt you anymore. The creature's servo monitors howl as they send the last remaining energy into its body. One of the limbs lunges at you, but the charge is not enough for the strike to reach its target. End the unusual exchange. Pascal, would you like to study this device? Request approved. Pascal eagerly unfolds his mechanadrites, and they all rush toward the monster. A shrieking drill cuts deep into the armor, while a claw hungrily snaps off chunks of the flesh pierced with strands of metal wire. The creature thrashes and wheezes, but cannot escape the merciless vivisection. Oh, God. The creature thrashes and wheezes, but cannot escape. Uh, the collected samples are sent to a portable anal analyzer, and the tech priest's visor clicks, recording the procedure in picked images. Pascal suddenly freezes and takes a little step back. Process interrupted. An operational collision has been detected. What was this machine built for? I'm presenting a hypothesis. This construct is a mobile execution chamber. A subject is immobilized by the implements placed inside of the construct and subjected to highly painful disposal via chemical injection. The biological remains are preserved in the built-in reservoir of the construct. Uh, the initial chemical analysis of the remains yields an abnormal result. It is as if the pain of the victims of the machine is dissolved in them. It is circulating into the metal veins of this creature. It can feel everything. Uh, the nature of the damage indicates that the unit has been in combat. The hypothesis is that its constructor sent it into the arena. Based on its current condition, the result of the combat test were, was unsatisfactory. Otherwise, the unit would have been repaired. I made you stop. This unit is under the influence of conflicting impulses. The operational vector of cognition dictates that uh, dictates uh, the necessity of studying this subject. The operational vector of the obeying the Amnesai and his universal laws dictates that the necessity of recoiling from this subject and purifying it. The operational vector of operation before his might dictates the necessity of reverence for the subject. Oh yeah, also raise the Amnesai. A subject where the natural spirit resides in synthesis with that of the machine. Is this thing more than a, a perversion and an outrage to you? The categorism is correct. The object is a perversion and an outrage. One dangerously close to the creation of the anathematized abominable intelligence. But it is also a miracle of his boundless polymorphism. Oh. Man, this creature, we're taking it with us. Request denied. The inflicted damage is critical. The subject cannot be repaired. Well, you are an exploratory study before it gives up the ghost. Request approved as doctrinally correct. Let the cycle be discontinued. Let ignorance be... Hold on. Pascal leans over to the creature and the drill whirls, sounding, uh, sounding shrill and, and relentless. 
The text priest's voice hums with the ice cold determination of a divine visector. Okay. Maybe they forgot about that. Duty prevails. I have this failed my case. is blessed with multifunctionality. You know, that works. I always have a backup plan. Anyways. Hey, I got some multi- I got more multi melters. Yay! What are you? Oh, you're a grenade. Oh yeah, I wanted to give the uh, Oh. Boop. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, yeah. An expected result. Is there That's money right. To be made? An expected result. Okay. That's all there is here. Boom. Now we can deal with this. Come on now. Keep your wits about you. Bottomless Abyss beckons you to jump. 
nothing. My options open. We are really starting to hallucinate now. I don't like it. Oh. Always keep your eye on the prize. The curtain shoves you away. It is surprisingly strong. I'm not able to get into those, but I always have a backup plan. Of course, you're not voiced. Anyways, uh, Tabantius the Arch uh, um, Archmachinator. The creature in front of you is a patchwork of skin stuffed with the darkness, corruption, and sharp objects, staring at you with its scalpel eyes. It grumpily remo uh, remarks, Such a disobedient specimen, you're still not dead. An anomaly? Its foul, corrupt thoughts reach out to you, groping at your face. I need help. But I see you will soon become a very obedient specimen, convulsing spasms, uh, hysterical reactions. Come here. Creature pokes you in the chest, its triangular fingernail easily penetrating your skin. Ugh. A strange sound throbs at the edge of your awareness, a sound similar to your own screams. A grotesque spider-like figure looms over you. Its limbs wave frantically, chittering and clicking as they rip something apart then stitch it back together. And you realize its canvas is your flesh. The Xeno's gaze is indifferent and his low voice echoes through the room. The sample has been extracted. The specimen is alive. Body and mind expected to function with normal parameters, monkey. Damn the Xenos. There's something fundamentally wrong with the Xenos' silhouette and its, its twitchy, abrupt movements, and it sets your mind reeling in disgust. Each of its mechan mechanical tool appendages seems designed to be as sickening and horrifying as possible. What happened to me? The control room in your nervous system detected my proximity. It signaled it was dying by, in the, by injecting a lethal dose of, of hallucinogenic euphorians in your bloodstream. A resourceful individual. That thing in my head is your pet? The Drukari holds up the pale mag of the same one you saw in Marzai's hands. As you watch, the tool appendages perform a swift dissection. The maggot's flesh bursts under the scalpel-like claw and blossoms into a disgusting, slimy flower. The Xeno's slow manner of speaking creates an unnerving uh, dissonance with the frantic movements of its limbs. I grew this specimen specifically for you, monkey. During your interrogation, it intoxicated your feeble senses to limit unnecessary resistance. What a curious experiment it was. I usually extract control worms from specimens posthumously. You possess some degree of bodily fortitude. <laughs> yeah. Fortitude. Now, the Xenos suddenly lets out a spiteful cackle, a surprisingly live reaction for such a cold creature, which made for an unpleasant surprise for Drakon Amarazai. A uh, former Dracon, that is. The at foolish whelp expected less of you, and you humiliated him. You ruined the trial and humiliated Marzai in front of the Council of Archons. It gave me something to think about. A good specimen. Lance of the Maggot, do you eviscerate everything you lay your hands on? 
Eviscerate is one aspect of my most respected art. You did, you did a poor job training your pet until I was able to shake it off, uh, shake off its influence. With a, a gurgling sound, the Xeno slowly yet steadily moves his sharp finger to your eye, closer and closer, almost touching the stops with a sight. Not now, perhaps later. This good specimen desires a reward for his impressive performance. And after all this, you decide to grovel before the Master of Flesh? How very primitive, am I in talk. Ah, ah. I rarely use positive reinforcement, but your behavior has been obedient, so why not? Uh, the Xenos reaches one of his smaller appendages inside uh, one of his own body cavities, pulls out a bundle wrapped in skin, and tosses it at you without looking. Oh, wow. This no longer interests me. Take it. Are you Tervanius? You are absolutely correct, specimen. I am Tervanius, the Archimaginator Homunculus, and the conductor of this place that staggers the imagination and soul. My anatomical opera. So what do I owe you now? You will serve me. Such is life in the spires. The Rabinian urged me to pay attention to your allegedly extremely gifted self-specimen. Let us see if you make good make a good tool. Same as you, little moth. Zeno points a mangled limb toward your lit. Unless, of course, the darkness of Tamra burns you as fast as the others. What does this mean? Homunculus. Who knows, Assyrian? Who knows? What did this Arab Arbinian tell you about me? Uh, this information should not burden your uh, undeveloped mind. The Arbinia told me enough to give you the chance to enter my anatomical opera. That is all you need to know. You, Uchukari, would do business with a human. Remarkably open-minded. Do business? I will do no business with you. I will use you. You, served a you survived a battle in the arena, which means you have uncommon parameters for your kind. You are a lesser organism, true. But the towering heights of my wisdom make it difficult to distinguish between your inferiority and the inferiority of most of my kin. What do you want from me? You will return to the arena for the fatal thirst. Got him. Uh, you might even spill the blood of uh, one of the bloodstained uh, proselytes. There, they are long overdue a small lesson in humility. They have forgotten their place. They lack respect. They do not appreciate my work. They fail to recognize my authority. What will I get out of this? Or will you coerce me as you do everyone else? Coerce will be more than enough. If you disobey, I will turn you into material for my creations and ensure that you feel and are aware of every manipulation performed on your flesh. But if you do what I tell you to do, I will let you live for a while longer. Hmm. Uh, cooperation will increase your odds of survival as long as you continue to be of use. I will maintain your organic parts and perhaps even let you play with some of my less significant samples. I will serve you if you help me make my escape. The response is acceptable. If you behave like a good specimen monkey, you have you may eventually receive my help in escaping Kamara. The flesh master is mad enough to help us escape in favor of his own unholy designs, but the price, Ellen Talk, will be unfair and terrible. Obedience will be rewarded. Take your crude gear with you. I abhor such technological ban uh, banality, but a creature as undeveloped as you may find it of use. As for your task, Abyss and his bloodstained proselytes are here right now, and my 
opera. Go and look at the ones who will be your executioners when the time comes for you to die. And the sheer parameters of your technologies. Go, specimen. Deliver Erwin's message of blood to the arena. For your aid. Uh, go and serve my will. My success benefits you. It is reasonable for you to help me. You made a deal. Is there anything I can uh, anything I can offer to repay a being of such brilliance? Your paltry possessions do not interest me. If you had something that could intrigue a master sculptor as uh, as I, perhaps remarkable piece of work, organics. Oh, of course. What? If it is sacrifice you want, a I will take more than flesh. I can extract something far more valuable from a single shred of your organics. This does not interest me. I will not remove much of her. Her functionality will not suffer. Earlet, why? This will be a step upon the path of atoning for the errors of my past. I want to talk. If my sacrifice will bring us... Bring you closer to salvation, I will commit myself into the hands of this tormentor. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Okay, well, I have it saved. Uh, trying to squirm little insect. The needle needs to go through your spirit stone. Oh, is the needle out of her? Oh, that means the critically then final nod. Not only nods. He gives Irlet a dismissive glance. I have no further need of you. I met a monster in the uh, angle sector, a creature that can steal years of victims' lives and many blade. Are you able to heal that? I recognize this mark of a uh, what an honor it is for you to be the vessel with a uh, mutt which my marvelous creation satisfies this thirst and to give your honest life force so it may be transformed by an energy converter. Fear not specimen is with my power to reverse the effects if it touches. Uh, it was an interesting experiment. One that could convert the life forces of the victims into fuel, but it was flawed. This beaten specimen that escaped. I do, and I do not recommend escaping specimen. Uh, came to the transfer only stops after I inject the blocker, and I only do it at the end of the procedure. Do you wish to spend the rest of your existence with the uh, sensation of your skin melting and your bones snapping?
Uh, Cassia. Ooh, the female was extraordinary uh, connection to the veil. Uh, I am studying the influence, uh, complete isolation for the veil and the outside world and the uh, specimen's abilities. Uh, screen inside her reservoir, but she is certainly still alive, and I am not yet ready to conclude the experiment. Uh, why would I, a specimen? Uh, with a full escort, I could be and find yourself other fighters. Uh, unless you want to lose a valuable specimen, you will release my compu- I will find a way to free him no matter what. Ah, huh, okay. Uh, plus 10 strength and plus 5 toughness. That's pretty good. The wearer becomes immune to the slowed and mobilized effects. Wait, is this it? Is this all I get from him? As she goes on to, uh, to mouth these words over and over like a mantra. It comes from inside her body. Erla pale, pales, her face twisted in torment, but she remains as still as a statue. Very slowly, pulls in a little out of her, examines it critically, then. Oh. Singing softly under his breath, that's softly? Uh, the man of enormous proportions is intently stripping raw meat from a bone with his teeth. His unwashed red hair is falling into his face. His beard is matted and blood-stained, and the aforementioned teeth look more like fangs than any human equivalent. A less knowledgeable person might not recognize this giant human, but you are well aware that this is a space marine, an angel of the emperor. Glory to the Emperor for us and the All Father. To your surprise, he managed to pronounce the phrase clearly and solemnly, even with a mouthful of raw meat. What do you want? Study the man. 
Uh, the huge body with stra uh, straggly overgrown red hair perfectly suits the deep chilling voices of this man or of this beast or the guise of a man. A tribal scar like tattoos covered his chest, arms, and back, and you can glimpse intricate braids in his uh, massive unwashed hair. His body bears so many pale scars that you cannot count them all. Okay. It, it, it is clear that captivity has sapped this prisoner of none of his physical power. Who are you? I am a wolf. How'd you come here? My pack answered the Inquisition's call and came to the Coronas Expanse. There was a battle. And then... The young wolves yearning to be meat for their brotherlings. To a feast of bolters they went out roving. Though... They were but few. One long fang with them went loping. Not to see them cut down by sides and clean. The pups he sent scattering, and there stood alone the paths guarding. For a foe he long spied, one worthy among unworthy. The song of swords singing, they clashed with clamor and skill. Until stood the old wolf upon the bones. Then, by the birds of battle, was he brought down. <laughs> oh, was that clear enough? This saga sounds less interesting in prose. That's interesting because the Space Wolves um, and uh, Detachment rule are uh, commenced of sagas. Anyways, uh, I wish to know more about your brothers. That butcher sent you to spy for him, did he? Or do they know nothing of the Emperor's Angels, the Space Wolves of Fenris, or the Great Layman Ross in your corner of the galaxy? Oh, why does he keep you in the cage? For his own safety. When I am not busy killing inhuman spawn in the arena, the Xenos fear my will. I never imagined I would see an angel of the Emperor allow himself to be dead. Hey. Ooh, I want to help you. For me, help. You stink of Xenos. I see you are on friendly terms with them. You are not sitting in a cage, and you smell of someone else. Someone spiteful and cunning. You cannot help me. When did the beast meet? Don't they feed you? A predator does not eat only when it is hungry. There are many reasons to eat. Uh, answer just as obliquely. There must be, there must have been a reason for his bloody repast. For a moment, the vicious grin loses some of its insincerity, and the bloodthirsty prisoner casts an intense, scrutinizing look at your face as if trying to read your thoughts. Must be planning an escape, yes? And why do you want to know? Listen closely to the song. Try to join the singing. You close your eyes and enter the flow of the song. That was <laughs> like slipping into a fast-flowing mountain river. Words rise up naturally in your mind. They are not the same ones sung by the prisoner, but you sense their aptness. Verse flows from your lips, full of surprising poetic metaphors and bloody details of a nameless hero fighting monsters under the light of unfamiliar stars. You are the one who has supped the mjord of the Skjalds, I see. <laughs> In the long haul, some of my brothers would be eager to tell you of their exploits so that you would sing a saga of their deeds. Where such as yourself could prove useful to me. To get what you want, you will have to convince two very headstrong individuals. Me and my captor. 
that claw-handed Xenos. I must thank you, esteemed Magos. After your intervention, I feel 50 years younger. Both my knee implants are as good as new. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it is actually quite nice to have gained all my old equipment back. <sighs> now I gotta fix things because... I tamed new stuff, and now I want to actually... Dodge reduction bonus for attacks with melee weapons. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Dead eye shots, and I rarely use those, so never mind. Might be okay on me. So apparently I have to go into the arena one more time, maybe, to be able to try and get Cassia. Uh, 30 to 45... This weapon is kind of pointless now. Because this does so much damage. Also, there's that one attack.
Jesus. She did over 500 damage with one attack. Oh, that was insane. Love it. Uh, being captured imposes certain unfortunate limitations on controlling the Von Plants is protected directly until these circumstances are remedied. The rogue trader's duties of maintaining and. Yeah. Is there money to be made? Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. about you. I always keep my options open. Oh, okay. I do need to actually finish up the Let us not do uh, second. Uh, the second arena fight. Let's go and take care of that real quick because I want my Cassia back. And boop. I want my Cassia back, damn it. Is there money to be made? Oh, come on, Billy. I always. Thank you. 
And guards of the cage are sturdy enough to stop a tank or the furry the post human. On the price. Master, allow me to take the space marine you keep in the cage. No. If you wish to continue wasting my time with your pathetic pleading, uh, uh, then you know the price. Hold up the bag of samples. Of course. Arena's Beast Claws. Uh, so be it. If you have earned a few minutes of my attention, this answer is still no. Uh, this particular monk cave specimen has nominal parameters. I previously studied two other specimens, the same breed, but have yet to untangle their genetic secrets. He also performs well enough in the arena. I will not part uh, with the last specimen. Do 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 do. Um, sure the loss of someone you can never impede uh, the work of a mind as great as yours. Perhaps the genetic sub uh, subtype of all three specimens was defective, and this is the cause of my limited success. In that case, loss of this specimen would not be significant. I would recommend pain as a means of uh, pacification. Hmm. I wish to know more about you and your craft. I am not in the habit of conversing. Uh, what is your craft? Uh, sir, question befitting uh, your small minded kind of the homunculi I are artists of anguish and the masters of flesh. The delvers in, uh, the delvers into unexplored sources of pain at the greatest among their people. My head hold a brilliant intellect. My hands command power over life and death. My body is a pinnacle of surgical discipline. Our minds hold the knowledge of hundreds of generations. You are aware of the beautiful variety of essence that can be extracted from the psychic energy of a uh, dying sentient creature? Are the ways, shades of torment and methods of termina uh, termination alter one an essence properties? This is the great alchemy of death and transformation. Smile obsequiously. Until this day, I could only dream of meeting such a wise and enlightened being. The Monculus's limbs react with an excited clatter of blades. I have a few equals and camera. My knowledge is vast and it goes beyond the mysteries of flesh and essence. I uh, uh, I have observed many uh, uh, disjunctions where the destructive energies of the Unreal erupted here in the webway. I have studied the dev devastating force and learned to harness it. I have created Psy Stiflers to keep the space around this spire intact. I have touched knowledge so ancient, it is not necessary for you to know this specimen. You might understand that the, the most fearsome Jukari warriors are created by artisans such as yourself. 
without a doubt. Even the most skilled witches and mighty Kabbalites are outstripped by the pure destructiveness of our genius. Yet I, long ago, rose above the building of commonplace battle beasts. The monstrosities I create are unequal. My last specimen, the uh, Jonas, surpasses every trifle ever made by my rivals. I fed it elite warriors until it escaped and hid in the mangled sector. I would have caught it, but then a new idea drew my attention. At present, I am working on a grotesque, but previously unknown power built. Um, I shall find you interesting samples. Uh, I see the corpses of a fine warrior or a mighty creature lying, the, uh, lying at your feet. Hmm. Uh, Ellen Tuck, do not get enough monsters in this accursed. Uh, uh, do you not get enough monsters? Ugh. Why did I survive interrogation with, uh, Orobar? Your body was given to me for disposal. It was thrown into the decess pit. It is an anomaly that the specimen did not die. I must consider fitting the disposal chute with a shred uh, shredding mechanism. <laughs> Master of Flesh is twisted. Yeah, let's stop here. Um, Are they suitable? Keep your wits about you. All right. I need your help. The prisoner looks at you expecting expectantly without stopping his chewing, but his expression shifts subtly as if his affected crudeness of mind and manner has been replaced by focus and cunning. Are you a coward then? Afraid to come out of your cage? When I rip your insolent tongue out of your throat, do not ask why. This is why. Uh, I really came to you to me. Join my party. Dave. Well, if he gave me to you, step into this cage and take me. <sighs> You think a filthy blasphemous Zenos could do whatever he pleases with me? Come here, you wretch! You have hidden on the other side of those bars long enough! Come in here and repeat your filthy words so I can kick them back into your bloody stinking muscle! Arise out of me. <laughs> and from what I can smell, you did not soil yourself in the process. I respect those with courage. I can work with you. It seems Tervantius is not as clever as he likes to appear if he's letting me out of the cage. <laughs> the joke is on him. <laughs> Good steel I have already, but if we are going hunting, I will need my full skin. <laughs> what did you say your name was?
Ulfar is a space wolf, a mighty space marine. His proportions instill respect in his allies and fear in his foes. But because Ulfar takes up four cells instead of one, certain mechanics may work differently for him. Ulfar does not use cover or conventional human armor and weapons. Ulfar's unique ability allows him, once per battle, instead of losing consciousness due to having his wounds reduced to zero, to become incapacitated for two rounds. While in this state, Ulfar cannot be targeted by attacks or suffer damage, and he also counts as full cover for his allies. Once two rounds have passed, Ulfar can gain and can act again and regains 50% of his maximum wounds. Furthermore, Ulfar is an Arch Militant. An Arch Militant's Keystone ability allows them to gain a stack. Okay. Same thing as, uh, oh my god. Uh, for the purposes of the, oh my god. Uh, for each stack of this effect on the Arch Militant, their weapon skill and ballistic skill are increased by plus five. Um... I better look up some builds for Ulfar. Because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. He's arch militant. Oh God. He's, uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, he's got run and gun, awareness, revel and slaughter, firearm mastery. Oh, is this just another Argenta build? Wait, no. Oh.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we accustomed to glory. Their ally uses a heroic act or a desperate measure. The arc will gain plus one and plus ten percent, uh, plus one and plus ten percent damage on all attacks. Okay, uh, melt, uh, melt a weapon. Oh, we're going melt, -a, huh? Okay. Jesus. All right. Um, close quarters. Oh, well, our Jensen needs that. Um, okay, after close quarters. Uh,. Read four. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to get this all done real quickly. But actually, no, like with how tough he is, 
I would much rather uh, be able, to, much rather actually just use them, uh, try and use them as those, uh, <laughs> as a tank, but, oh well. Do 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 do. Um, I don't think it's that's necessary, but Ah, eh, let's just grab this. Her athletics. Um, toughness again. Perception and Uh, axes, hammers, and las weapons. Oh, well. All right. And we're done with them. Okay. Damn. Hmm. Seems pretty good. Anyways. to the top or get left let's go take dust. care of this combat
I will actually look up another build. But hey, we got Ulfar. Yeah. But I will look up builds for him uh, at another point in time, probably after the stream. And uh, I'm, I will more than likely fix things with him. Um, let's look at some, uh, some equipment I can give Ulfar real quick. Wolf skin. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, that's sirening stuff. That's sirening stuff. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Oh, uh... Uh... Single attacks with bolter weapons automatically hit the target. Oh, wow. Oh. Sure, I'll grab that for now. like that better. Perplex that. Okay, like, okay, yeah, seriously, this is where I would actually like to make him a full-on, uh, melee bro. Uh, that's obviously not going to work out all too well. Maybe. Hmm. Eh. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, I guess that's as good as we're going to make them. Is there money to be made? Oh, my God. What am I missing?
I always have a backup plan. Huh? Okay, seriously, what all am I missing? Look, Carrion, is this the monkey that cost you your place at the Archon side? Azari's eyes flare with turquoise fire at the sight of you. An immediate, uncontrollable urge to kill the Drukari seizes the blades hanging from his belt and freezes at the shout of the metal studded Xenos. Careful with the meat for the uh, arena, Marazai. If Sinistra is short on toys for her fighters, you'll be punished again. She seems to enjoy pitting you against Chimera. Maybe this time she won't deem it necessary to give you back your skin after you slay them all. Aww. I want to talk to you. I saw what happened to the trial. You were tricked. Uh, Tyrannus' creation must have been a low-grade imitation of the, uh, if the Mirage did not completely overwhelm you. Even if what you say is true, what is it to you? Alright, you are trapped. I am trapped. We could help each other. You help me. Why would the query help the hunter if you expect me to believe that? Let's make a deal. You help me take out my enemies, and I shall help you take out yours. As I lifts his chin and lets out a hiss, more pensive than an anger, I... I am tired of listening to you and your old friend whispering into the primitive babble. Enough, we must go. Um, uh, right, grudgingly obeys the order, but as he walks away, he cannot resist, uh, tossing another un unreadable look in your direction. Okay. Now that might have done it. We'll see. If thou cease to flaw on me, smite me. 
Argenta's hoarse whispers are nothing like the usual clear, almost maleficent voice that she uses for prayer. Smite me. She looks up at you. Her dark eyes gleam anxiously. Rogue trader, you find me at prayer. Uh, darkness surrounds us, and we will require all the spiritual fortitude our ravaged hearts can muster. Are you distraught because of visitors' fate or the deaths of those betrayed by the Commissar? Yes, I am. I was the one who found those people. I brought them to the Commissar, I prayed for them, and I gave them hope, and he, he sent them to an abattoir to die for those monsters amusement they uh they might have in their final moments they might have thought that i too have betrayed them i once more failed to see weakness where i should have seen it i failed those people loyal and brave but it is not only that i thought naively that faith and perseverance had helped us helped me cut through the schemes of the foul xenos Uh, 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 Xenos, that, uh, that we were on a path to freedom. In truth, though, it was all just another, just another part of the act, and the vile monsters must have been cackling with glee as they observed my foolishness. If prayer is helping you get through this, I am glad to hear it. Prayer always helps. Tell me, Rogue Trader, do you trust me? Please, look into your heart and tell me what you see. I trust you. Huh? I trust you with my life. But what if I am undeserving of your trust? Rogue Trader, to lose uh, hope is to err in the eyes of the Emperor, and I am drawing closer to erring than ever before. The darkness all around me thickens. The clutches of our captors are strong. If I am to give myself fully to the battle ahead, I will need all my strength, and to summon such strength, I must purge my soul. Tell me, will you hear my confession? Of course. Where the hell did that come from? Uh, you what, Argenta? I killed Pedora von Valencius. Oh. 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 Oh, boy. Garlet raises her head slightly and looks around, clearly not fully understanding what is wrong, but sensing the shift in the mood around her. Yes, it was me, not your treacherous kin of uh, Voigtbeer. Not the cultists, me. She speaks with a strange blend of pride and horror in her voice. I remember every last detail. The ship was under attack. I grabbed my weapon and I ran to her side because I thought it was my duty to protect the Emperor's Chosen. And what did I witness when I burst into her study? Theodore von Valantius, a rogue trader, holding a sinister sorceress artifact radiating with profane light. It was a lens like the ones we saw in the Rykat system, except it was smaller and far more potent. I instantly knew it to be a weapon of the arch enemy. I had seen objects like it before on Salus Prime, the planet where I had this had sought the sacred relic and where I had nearly died at the hands of Cultus. So many things were made clear to me in that moment. So, pierce, uh, so piercing was the revelation, so obvious the answer to how those heretics had found their way to a planet known to none but those of House von Valencius. 
I fired before I could even fully comprehend what I was seeing. Terra's light must have guided my hand for one shot was all it took. The bolter discharged destroyed both the arch, arch enemy's artifact and its owner's black heart, but... But... I did not regret killing her, nor do I regret it now. Theodore had succumbed to the arch enemy and its dark sorcery. The entire attack on the ship was merely the result of her and Voigtbeer feuding over their spoils. And I realized it in my heart at uh, the moment I saw the artifact in her hand. But standing in the same room was the Honorable Arch Militant, a devout servant of the Emperor, and the reason I had made it off Salas Prime after the cultist attack. When he saw me firing at Theodora, he inst instinctively rushed to protect her. I killed him too. Do you remember the orphans I once asked you to meet with, Rogue Trader? One of the boys was the son of the man I killed. My whole life, I had sworn I would not allow villains to orphan children of the Imperium, and then I did so myself. Lady Theodore Mort fell at the hand of the one meant to protect the servants of the God Emperor. I never doubted the security of the Von Valancia's bloodline when you were close. But now, the very foundations on which the power of the rogue trader re traders rests seem to have been violated. Ebla looks at Argenta with a visceral loathing in her eye. In her eye. Wow. Oh, why isn't this voiced? Jesus, this is a revelation. Argenta looks at you anxiously, waiting for your reaction. Oh boy. Um, you kept this secret all this time. I did, and I despised myself for doing so. Sisters of battle are taught to laugh in the face of lies and intrigue, but instead, I feared that I would face immediate execution for the murder of the rogue traitor. I hoped that the people would think it was Voigt fear of the cultists who killed her, and I was right. But that lie, it burned in my throat, and here... In this horrific real reality, away from Terra's light, I realized that I could keep my silence no longer. You at least regret doing what you did. Your hands would not be covered in the blood of innocence had you not acted on impulse. I regret the deaths of innocence every waking moment, but how could I avert my eyes from heresy? That goes against my very nature. I'm glad I have revealed the truth to you, Rogue Trader. This is, dishonesty has been driving me out of my mind. Oh my god, that's a revelation. I don't know how to process that. I really don't know how to process that. But didn't we kind of commit a bunch of acts of heresy too? My brothers and sisters, it's time for you to meet our greatest ally, Rogue Trader Zircon Von Valancia himself as part of the resistance. I ask you, how can we fail with someone so mighty on our side? Um, Elphys and Xenos have already tried to kill him in the arena, yet their efforts were for naught. Oh my god. You condemned them to death, you lied to us, now I have come to exact retribution. Uh, 
And Sister Agenda, what are, you, uh, what are these accusations I'm hearing? Could it be that the horrors of combat have rattled you so? Uh, just to the resistance fighters. Argenta, stop, or else those who do not know the whole truth might suffer. Argenta sighs uh, grimly and gives the commissar a look of intense loathing. I will not risk the lives of those you have deceived, but make no mistake, this isn't over. You traitorous maggot. Yes, yes, you got me. I'm a traitorous maggot. Just keep down, will you? Why do you send people to the arena? I'm uh, just trying to be useful. The Witch of the Cult of the Fatal uh, uh, Thirst enjoys this little show I've put on. Killings I uh, don't amuse them at uh, all that much. They want something more flavorful. Those people think they're just a step away from salvation. Ugh. Tell me more about the arena. Uh, Renee's heart of the wellspring of life, and, the, and his Picari are forced to feed on psychic energy born of pain and fear. I demanded the work out of the deal. Uh, Pile myself in the arena, and I did whatever I could to survive. Yep. Yeah. Tazara is dead. I killed her. Except Tazara seems to have forgotten all about time. You dealt with Tazara during the defense. Oh, right. Uh, have dared to make a move if she hadn't. All Mr. Patronus of the same can't be said of her high-handed manner of and her habit. Or even a real commissar. Of course not. I can yeah, I can tell you from experience that they beat all the brains and imagination out of commissars during training. I was a nobody from a penal legion of the Astro Militar. Uh, what did Malice do to cross you? I'm with the truth. He robbed me of what was mine. When he, the scaled freak realized I'd been left without a patron, he brought his gang to my den. What do you intend to do now? Nope. I believe you have a problem. I survived. Is that a problem? You're not going to, I don't know, kill me, are you? We'll see. How about a deal? You take part in my show, and I give you access to the stores of the Resistance. You just keep your mouth shut and your finger off the trigger. Strike and leave a bloody wound to the Commissar's face. Do not try to deceive me ever again. Oh, no. Huffs. Hear me, people. This liar serves the Xenos. You have been de you have been deceived. Two arms. Oh dear God! You will beg for mercy, but I will grant none. Cross them. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna put him over here and start. Let us see. I'll see to it personally. 
target well struck. Taking calculated risk is in my second nature. I'm wearing a, oh, I'm wearing a hood. Okay, I was just like, did my hair go white? Activate calculated fury algorithm. There's all that. We'll then go ahead and expose weakness on the Commissar. Joint analysis. the commissar who is probably the biggest so far it's the zealous thug yeah so far it's the zealous thugs that are the more dangerous just designate a target oh what am i doing actually i need to stay here to get better aim You. If it serves your cause. You only have four. This team That's fine. Is beneath me. If it serves your cause, <laughs> you moving no more. Ancestors, guide me. <sighs> if I must. Let's make it quick. Okay, what the hell was that? Anyways. Alright, and we'll go ahead and voice command you. Oh, you guys just went to a great line. I'll see to it personally. Deeds is worthless. You're the Emperor commands. I am. You just miss all of those attacks. Who, if not your end, was inevitable?
That was awkward. What the hell? Come on. I'm kind of getting confused here. What's going on? By faith. Got it by faith, chat. I'll do it. It's why I was chosen. Damn, nice hit. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is what is eradicated. is a prayer. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. for the weak moving out skitcha my caravan time is strong for the glory of the imperium it will be done your back and call. Indeed. High momentum. Yeah, sure, that works. Cubs play. See how the worst of time will cause wounds out of your bones. So shall it be. That's right, oh, Wolves boy. Rain. Here we go. Hold on. I can't stand it. I'll do what it protects me. Protect me. Woo. 
Nice, nice, nice. Um, you know what? That's fine. Understand your intent. I will not. Target is too far, huh? I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. <laughs> the soul slips beyond the veil. Oh, I just shot him into nothing. Love it. This tedium is beneath. Oh, I deal death no. with my hands. An exemplary strike. my principles he's as good as done oh, awesome Shall be. I will cut roots out of your bones. Fenris shoulder. See how the wolf. Nice, just the two left. Wolves rain. We'll just miss him. Can do this better than a warrior of the All Father. So it shall be. What the hell's it? That was weird. Rejoice in battle. I'll be honest, that was very weird. I'll do it. Uh, hi guys. So, who's in charge now? Rogue Trader is, you idiot. Uh, Neil, all of you. Hail his lordship on Valencius.
Ага. The risen spiders are looking at you with a mixture of fear and deep respect. They do not have the guts to break the silence and speak to you. Uh, there is something you must know. The man who called himself the Commissar was a traitor and an accomplice of the Xenos. His promises of escape were nothing but lies. A shocked murmur runs through the ranks. One fighter sobs, his face twisted in grief, while another whispers a string of curses, his fists clenched. Hey, Mouth, hello! One of the warriors, a woman with a stern face and a grim voice, says, There is no hope. We are doomed to remain captives of the Xenos. But a clean death is a better fate by far. May we beg your lordship to grant us the Emperor's peace? I uh, would commit heretical acts for some spinach dip right now. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> One day we shall die for him, not as cowards, but as heroes. My comrades, be strong in your faith and prepare to fight. Now, in the name of the um, for I, Zerkan Valencia, is giving my word that I will lead you out of this place. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, it seems before you see their eyes awestruck and warm like sunlight. You know, I would love some spinach dip myself. Now, uh, the Commissar is no longer in charge of uh, this, uh, uh, this unit. Any objections? No, none, your lordship. Where do battles keep his trophies? This is everything we found in this vile den. We searched all that sly Xenos' secrets and castles and stuff. Tell me, Malice, do you still have anything, uh, something stowed away? Some extra special stash? Who can say, Hoonling? We can tear the den uh, apart piece by piece. You can torture me. You filled. You will find nothing. Wasteless know how to shut our sense of pain. I will suppress. Mm, I I will suppressors have no, and will suppressors have no effect of us. So there is only one we can get. Uh, I, uh, open the cage. Give me my. Uh, give me a knife. Get on your knees and let me carve your throat open. Down to the commissary. Do you wish to repent, traitor? Oh, I'm convinced. <laughs> wow. I wonder what this dogmatic uh, act would have been. Uh, do you wish to repent, traitor? Enjoy. Uh, you're a little victory. Oh, uh, you can uh, Colorado Rachel, and you heard all quicker than did mine. Let us see who be shitting whose cag. For your crimes, I am sending you to the arena. You will suffer the fate to which you doomed and doomed so many others. Yeah. No. Please, God, I, I can stay in this cake. Please. In the next fight, you are coming with me. We shall make the arena drink of the Xeno's blood. Better die for the Emperor than to live for yourself. Instant 180. <laughs> right? You should have shown greater hospitality when I first came to you. <clears throat> Malice's entire body is covered in grisly wounds. One of his arms has been nearly torn off and is now hanging by sinew. A human would have long since died from such injuries, but Malice does not even look like he is on his last legs. Laugh away, humanling. You won. Betray the one who aids you. That's life inspires.
Hmm. No longer will you hide behind the backs of others. When the homunculus servants come to collect the gladiators, I'll, sh I'll be sending you to the arena. Interesting. Uh, sharpshooter's boost when the wearer performs a single shot ranged attack from any cover. This attack gains awareness divided by 4% armor. Whoa! Each round of the wearer dodges a melee attack. The wearer gains plus 5 agi bonus. Uh, critical hit chance until the end of their next turn. Stacks! Headhunter like Kerbis. Ah, a bolter. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh, yeah. uh, uses press the advantage. They a and their allies increase the result by plus two for two rounds. Too many abilities for me to remember which one that came from. Every time, uh, every time when one uh, when more than two targets are damaged to the wielder's area attack, uh, the wielder gains plus two res uh, resolve momentum. Nice. After triggering a psychic phenomenon. Did you hear the 40k balance stage? Like, yep, yep, I did a little talk at the beginning of the stream. That was like 30 minutes, I think. Uh, I went over a little bit of it, primarily over the Tyranids and the Depth of Sororitas. I gotta say, I am both happy with the Tyranids, uh, slightly confused with their, uh, just... I, like, I'm okay with their, uh, points, of, points updates. It's uh, Adeptus Sororitas. I'm I'm sad about their points, but yet I am understanding of their points because their uh, codex is insanely powerful. It's insanely good. But we will we shall see where things go from there and uh, hope for the best. Uh, note that Sororitas points are being shown as compared to the points in the Codex. Yes, I did. Uh, I did figure that out this morning when not uh, throughout the day when I was looking at it. I was like, wait, hold on, that's not right. What? Which are also outdated, very much outdated. However, a lot of the points still did, in fact, actually go up like fifteen points minimum on most of the stuff. Um, and then the Zephyrum went up like thirty. Jesus. However, uh, to be fair, that's justified. Yes, yes, uh, they are very powerful. Moder they are a monocom They are a mediocre army with insanely powerful rules. Is this a one-handed? Yes, it's one-handed. So I am okay with saying that that um, points is just. I am shocked. Tal breachers weren't hit harder. So I, I don't know much about Tau. Yeah, I don't know much about Tau. Um, or at all. Yeah, Tau didn't really get much, did they? Tau got buffs to Crisis Suits points. Yeah, uh, for Data Slate, nothing for Tau, points-wise. Uh, a lot of green. Or some green, but not a lot of, uh, gray. But yeah. Uh, and a lot of gray, yeah. Not much to say, not much to talk about there. Mostly because I don't know about, n enough about Tau to be like, Hey, hey guys, look at this.
Alright, time to talk to all my comrades real quick. My breaches plus devilishes are very powerful. I'll take your word for it. You came back from the dark, Ellen Tark? Unharmed. How are you? My body has already healed. The wounds of the soul will heal one day too. I can talk and can't tell. Let's take six of each of life, Not unlike love and fear and the desire to learn. The paths help the children of Asurion to endure any spiritual upheaval. And you, Ellen Tark, did not allow me to stray from mine. For this, I am grateful. Well, since uh, since their battle line and dead tra uh, ded transports respectively, wow, I didn't realize that there are actually battle line. And yet, neither rest nor healing solves, or even our reconciliation, can soothe the dedicated savage transports. Okay. Turmoil in my soul, Elantark. Kruderak is lost, and the bud of truth never opened before me. What happened to my kinsmen? What happened to my world? And why did the dark cousin tell me less than he knew? Uh, what happened to you after the trial? I was meant to share your fate, Ellen Tuck, and vanish in the dark city's rotting underbelly. But the flesh master gave a different order. His twisted mind was beset by a question. Could a child of Asurion be saved from the gaze of she who thirsts with intense re-education? By replacing the influence of my spirit stone with the heady tang of pain that nourishes the followers of the dark ways? Uh, oh, speaking of, uh, did the transports that I ever tell you about the Terrible Sisters, Rhino Sacrifice Tech? Yes, I think he did, yeah. Basically, uh... Transports automatically are destroyed if you do not put units in them. And so then, uh, hey, miracle die. Hey, miracle die. Hey, miracle die. I donned the executioner's mantle. They allowed me to keep my spirit stone in exchange for the suffering of others. I survived, prayed for a Surian's mercy. And hoped to escape before the stone cracked under the torrent of pain and terror assaulting my soul. Before the experiment was complete. Made a recruit with uh, 12 total, uh, total dedicated transports. It did not play well, but it would have been so f <laughs> Oh boy, I want to know what you did. Everything from beginning to end. I tried to learn to trust you, Ellen Tuck. Whatever your motives... You did not turn away from me, and you helped me search for my kin. But despair ate at me from within. The human journeys through the realm of she who thirsts left my soul drained, and our attempts to save the children of Kruderak crumbled to nothing in the unending coldness of the dark cosmos. And even when I beheld a piece of Kruderak in your chambers, I wanted to believe you had nothing to do with it. I wanted to, but I succumbed to emotion, to fear, to hopelessness, to grief. I was afraid that Silent Thrash would find me before I found the truth. I specifically only use units that can't ride on them, pin the engines, jump packs, more of vol units, oh, whose names I forgot. Uh, uh, Paragon War Suits. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't wait to actually start building my sister's army. Ah. Uh. Hopefully, I get my stuff soon to, uh, next week. Because as soon as we get, uh, as soon as we get my stuff, it's going to be building non-stop we're just going to start building and we're not going to be done building until they're all built including the runes that i'm getting i am getting some new runes uh some uh, some more terrain and we're and i can't wait to build it so yeah basically i'm just i'm gonna slap down a bunch of money and go give me my stuff and i can't wait to get it 
which is why I try to find my dark cousin on the day he attacked Dargonus. I used the commotion to slip away unnoticed, and wandered the streets like a shadow in search of its owner. My efforts were futile. I returned to the palace in confusion. I waited for my fresh wounds to stop aching, and for the watchfulness of the surrounding monkey to fade like the mist on an autumn morning. But still, I had my doubts. Perhaps, I thought, I should discuss it openly with you. That monkey Achilles. There was something wrong about him. He kept disappearing at night, so one day I followed him. Achilles was contacting Marajai, using an artifact that transmitted his master's orders. That is how I learned that the burnt monkey was about to betray you, which meant my only chance to discover the fate of my homeworld was about to slip through my fingers. I could not wait any longer. I killed Archilius, took the artifact, and demanded answers from Marajai. He hinted at where I could go to look for the truth. You know what happened next. Did you kill Achilles? My words will hardly console you, Elantark, but I killed the traitor. I fear the Dark Ones left too many scars on his fragile soul. Your loyal monkey broke, so I gifted him a swift death, free from the shame of betrayal. We went through all that and you didn't even learn anything? Alas, my cousin fell out of favor with the Archon. But even so, I doubt Marajai would reveal the truth. At least not before his dark soul was suffused with my suffering. Do not presume to know what he's about to do. I know. Believe me, I know. Enough about that. What do you know about this place? Kamora. This city grinds down the will of the strong and torments any who get tangled in its dark web. The fools are the first to die, and the shrewd perish regardless. I have never been here before, but few children of Assyrian manage to escape the dark city without surrendering a part of their soul. So what is it that you wish to know? Well, who rules the city? Oh, there are right, no what about other cities, cities other than... Elantark? The dark city has no bounds. It is a tangle of countless nightmare domains subject to a single ruler. An endless amalgamation of ever-changing and immutable dimensions. You cannot grasp its tenebrous grandeur, for even my life will not be long enough to visit all corners of the Dark City and the realms that border it. But it hardly matters where you go, for death lurks on every corner. Who rules it? An ancient and powerful Drukhari named Astrubael Vect, the supreme overlord of the Cabal of the Black Heart, who reigns over all of the Drukhari with an iron fist. My dark kin consider him to be a living god. Much like your emperor on the Golden Throne, Vect sits upon a throne of darkness and suffering, that keeps Komoras disparate clans from disintegrating. I would not want to meet him if I were you, Alantak. You know how we get out of here. The dark city is pierced by millions of spires, and a webway gate may be hidden in any of them. It is the only way out of this place, and an impassable obstacle to any who do not know how to operate it. I know. And will help you should you so desire. If you also want to take a super spin on Tabletop Sim once Oahopedia updates. I need to get into I, I need to actually start working on Tabletop Simulator because since I downloaded it and updated everything for and installed all the mods for Warhammer stuff, I have not touched it since. So at some point, I need to get in there and play the game. I just need someone to play with. Uh, 
Just need to work on things and figure things out. Anyways, I have other questions. But do I have the answers that you seek? I guess I don't have it. Though. I got it at strength. There are more trials yet to come. Alan Tuck. Oh, I awesome. promised that I would no longer hide my worries behind an icy wall of pride and doubt. And so I want to explain myself. But are you willing to hear me out? Uh, let's, uh, I would be related to uh, my versus a faction that isn't Votan. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's figure something out. Uh, we'll, we'll, let's talk more in Discord. We'll, we'll talk more about it in the Discord. Uh, probably in the, um, no, let me make a, let me make a channel real quick. There we go. There we go. How about a join game? There we go. Or actually, no, let's make that a... Yep. Alright. I've been waiting for an explanation for you. Not here. The words of my truth are intended only for your ears, Helen Tuck. Why is it not voice? No! <laughs> Anyways, Zircon, I... It lets the usual pride and arrogance give away to awkwardness and confusion. This is my first this is my first time ever having to explain myself like this, but you, more than anyone, deserve to know the truth. I understand how uh, unworthy I am in your eyes. I'm back from joining the Discord. Hello, welcome back. Oh, I welcome Okay, so there's something going on with my welcome that's not actually notifying me about that stuff. Anyways, well, welcome to the Discord. Uh, this may sound like a ridiculous excuse, but uh, but I did not want to betray you. I only wished to learn the truth about Kruderak's demise and find my kin. And when I saw the shard of my world in your uh, dwelling, that trophy mounted to the wall, I was beside myself with fear and rage. And when my dark cousin whispered in my ear that he knew the answers to my questions, I made a mistake. I trusted my kin and, fearing that you might refuse me if you knew where I had been getting my orders from, I simply asked you to direct your ship to the particular system. Uh, FYI, I cannot see the message history of rule. Try, uh, try now. Because it's a... I might have had something messed up. They'll see no rules. Okay. All right, how about 
now. I did this. I did the save and a. Yeah, I edited them and uh, saved them, so maybe they reposted. But if anything, I will probably have to repost them. There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Yep, pretty much the, uh, I just had to reboot the app. All good, all good. I also did a save and stuff, but yeah, I... Same, it's the same rules as uh, Twitch chat. Uh, I mean, I... Uh, did I trust Marzari? No, of course not. I thought he spoke of my kin's location to crush my soul, that he wanted me to go there and find only death instead of them. But hope, hope for the better, prevailed over my faith in you, Ellen Talk. I was filled with hope, the thought... I never ever even crossed my mind that the single thread forever slipped from my grasp would lead us to the very heart of the Dark City. I am sorry. And I wanted you to know that. I understand why you did that, and I forgive you. Hairless eyes widened in surprise. I give you my word. I will never betray you your trust ever again. You have shown great compassion by accepting me and forgiving my deed. I did not know if I would ever I would have been able to do the same. It pains me to know the hardship uh, the hardship you had to endure because of me and you still suffer in this cursed arena, in this cursed city. I also my soul is crushed, Elatok. The loss of Kruderak, the horrors of Kamara, and the Drukhari's attempts to re-educate me I have fully paid the price. I have lost my path and can no longer meditate. My body and my soul uh, know no peace now, and that means that at she who thirsts will soon turn her predatory gaze on me. You're unable to meditate. How can that happen? I've heard stories about Eldari unable to reach their inner world because of an anguish or madness, and every story had a tragic ending. How are you going to regain your powers now? I do not know. Um, uh, wish I could embrace you and give you comfort, but you cannot bear the human touch. It shudders and ponders your words. No, I cannot bear it in the talk, but the fact that you remember this and respect my feelings means a great deal to me. I cannot help with meditation, but I am prepared to stay with you and share this silence. That way, you will be able to forget about the horrors of Kamra, if only for a little while. Another faces for a second, then gestures for you to take a seat nearby. We had a saying on Kruderak. In silence, you can hear a heartbeat. The music of the soul trying to burst out. Please, share this wordless song with me. And may it bring peace to us both. With that chat, I gotta say, fortunately, I had to call it a stream. <laughs>